Okay, this plowing walkthrough is for the parking lot plowing for Glenbrook. Many of you who are watching this have plowed this account before, um, but I feel it's necessary to highlight a lot of things in this video, just to be clear again as we approach winter. So this account, um, <clears throat> over 2 million square feet of parking service. Uh, we have four payloaders and two skid loaders that service this property. Um, on a nice one and a half, two inch snow, I think we've plowed this and gotten it cleaned in four to five hours. So if it's empty, if the place is empty, it's a nice quick plow. Um, so Glenbrook Mall, this is obviously on Coliseum and Coldwater. Uh, I'll probably outline the property boundaries here just so everybody everybody can see them. Uh, you have a cutoff line between Sears and the mall. Two separate accounts. We do do both, but they're separate accounts. Uh, the mall encompasses on this north side, you know, these parking lots and entrance. We do not do the jeweler, so do not plow the jewelry store. More outlots, a couple small outlots. This is Macy's. Another entrance off of Coldwater. Here's a Coldwater entrance. Uh, this is usually what we call the McMahon parking lot, McMahon Tire. You have the upper J.C. Penney, upstairs Macy's. So that's sort of the north and east. We have the food court and Carson's. A couple outlots. Um, downstairs J.C. Penney's. This is where our equipment is parked here. This is downstairs J.C. Penney's. Uh, you do have a loading dock here. We have the main or small Carson's lot. And then the lot on the west actually cuts off right here. So what I'm not highlighting here is actually Sears property. Even though most people park here to go into the mall, it's actually Sears property. Uh, and then, of course, part of the whole account, too, is this ring road entrance. Another third entrance. Uh, this ring road that goes all the way around the mall. This part and this entrance that leads to Coliseum is the mall scope, and then right there. So this void is Sears. Even though this ring road is on Sears property, it's part of the mall's work. So all this, you know, I'm coloring in here. That's all what we plow. And then a little another small part is we have Granite City Restaurant. So we need to take care of up to about here. This is actually Target's um, property there. So that's the extents of the property that we take care of for the parking lot. Usually I feel it's best to probably break the mall into four places since we have four loaders or four areas. Usually you have this whole north side. You know, one loader can take care of. Um, Usually another loader taking care of downstairs Macy's, upstairs Macy's, maybe McMahon. Um, why don't we do this? And that this is by no means uh, what has to happen, but just a rough idea. Then you could have the other loader take care of Macy's and maybe also McMahon's. Another loader takes care of this big J.C. Penney lot, and maybe downstairs J.C. Penney's and help with the food court. And then another loader doing Carson's. And of course, they have the outlots, skid loaders. Uh, they're kind of the assistants. Uh, they can do some small areas that the loaders can't reach. I think skid loaders do great at Granite City Restaurant. They do great at the entrances. One, because they're the only things that can fit in between the concrete medians. Um, you will need one of the loaders with a power angle plow. It's usually the best, but you know somebody's got to service that ring road. Get that open first thing in the morning. And then the skid loaders, are, you know, they're there to help. 
They're there to help push stuff out and away from buildings, away from curbs. That's what they're there for. And whether one skid loader works with another loader, you know, in tandem, they work together, that's, you know, that's the goal. So I want to go over a few things, um, especially snow pile locations. We'll look at this north side first. <coughs> so the north side, you know, what's preferred is all this snow gets pushed uh, east. It's not always possible, but it's preferred. These islands up close to Barnes and Noble, you know, this is the nice detail stuff that a skid loader should be doing. Loading dock here. Of course, there's a loading dock with overhead garage doors here that security will open. This employee parking lot. Um, it's really nice to have all this snow pushed and just stuck right, right beyond the the property line. Since we do both, I don't think it's a big deal. But you know, having a pile here is nice. Big sort of row pile here. You know, a pile here probably for this upper lot. Um, you know, and that's what it needs to be for piles in this north side. We want to try to avoid tons and tons of piles. Of course, sidewalk crew will be there servicing all the sidewalks. Um, but just remember, since we have these large loaders, we got to get this snow out of the way. It needs to be out of sight, out of mind. Macy's on the east side. In the past, we've done a big pile here in the middle. <coughs> it really needs to be avoided, if possible. And if we can plow this whole lot and take that snow up into this small parking lot with a box, uh, that's what needs to happen. This is the high side of the parking lot here, so I, I like to avoid not piling snow here because what inevitably happens is it starts to melt at some point and run, you know, the runoff happens. And you get a bunch of ice patches here. So downstairs Macy's, this little parking lot, if we can get all that snow brought to this little small lot, that's where it needs to go. This upper lot, which usually a skid loader will do, um, We've been putting snow here on the grass. I really don't like to. It's not the best place because we end up having to move it. So what really needs to happen is all this snow needs to be brought out and then taken with the JCPenney upper lot snow. So this is JCPenney's upper lot. This whole big lot. Empty. Really easy lot. you got employees that park here first thing, but all that snow just goes south and stacked right, you know, right along this edge. This sort of empty parking lot plus McMahon's, you know, just a pile somewhere in the corner around McMahon's, maybe bring the snow out here. That's all it really needs to be. Uh, downstairs, J.C. Penney and food court. What really works best is if all this area Everything can be taken out to this edge. So across the ring road. Basically make a couple mountains, a couple mountain ridges right there of snow. Our equipment's here, so of course we can't plow any there, but I think even a little stored back in this back edge is gonna be okay. Remember there's there's loading docks for those skid loaders. Uh, we've got a loading dock here at Penny's. This loading dock definitely skid loader work couple trash compactors upstairs Carson's usually we end up putting a snow pile I think up here a really small one just to take care of this lot and then the back of the mall which remember this is really the cutoff line everything else is Sears this back Carson's lot plus the loading dock, all that stuff just taken out to a pile um, somewhere here in the middle. I think there's a drain right in this area. You can see the pavement's kind of messed up. So if we're stacking snow right here near the drain, not on it, but near it, that way when it melts, 
Um, it's not running all over the place. This is the big main loading dock for all the, for the mall for the small stores. So this needs to be cleaned if snow ever gets underneath there. And then of course the ring road and entrances. Those are kind of self-explanatory, but um, just wanted to speak on those real quickly. The main um, consideration when plowing too is understanding what opens first and what parking lots are needed first. You know, Macy's employees, I think there's a nice, there's a blue line painted on the pavement about in this location. Those are employees, they're there first. JCPenney, these are employees, that's where they park and show up first. Carson's, not really sure where they park. I think some employees park right there. Then out front, uh, it's kind of a mix. You know, this should all be visitors, customers. But I think some employees do some parking out in this area. It's whatever they're approved to do. But you know, as we're plowing, you'll have to watch to start to see people show up if you're not getting to an area quickly enough. Um, but obviously, the core of it for visitors, you have everything internal of the ring road. You know, that's what gets used first by customers. All these outlots, for the most part, are afterthoughts. Really the only outlots that get used quite a bit would be this one in front of Barnes and Noble and then part of this one in front of Macy's. Like I said this is generally speaking but these other outlots um, you know where our equipment is at and then these two they really don't get used so they can be plowed last. So I'll go over the walks in another video um, but just wanted to briefly discuss, you know, what's the best way to, to plow this, this place and, uh, really, you know, planning and working together since we got six equipment operators here is key, you know, for a successful plow.